Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom animation play whenever something happens in your game. What that means is if, for example, if you wanted an animation like, let's say, attacking a punch animation to play whenever someone presses E on their keyboard, then you'll be learning how to do that in this video. So if you're excited for that, stay tuned and let's begin. Okay, so what you want to first do is you want to get the rig builder open and then you want to choose whichever rig you want for your animation. So I'm just going to use R15. So R15 is actually the rig that will provide you with more limbs and more joints to play with. So I'm going to say R15. I'm going to say Mesh Avatar for 2016. Now I've got my rig. And now I'm going to use the Animation Editor. And this Animation Editor, you just got to click on the rig. And let's call this, call it Punch or something. And this is basically what is going to control the animation. This is called the Animation Editor. And I have a couple videos on this. If you want to know more about this thing, you can watch another video, which I will link in the top right. You know, the little pop-up that comes up. I'll link it there. So anyway, I'm going to assume that you know how to use this Animation Editor, and you probably already have your animation made. But uh, in case you don't, I'm just going to go through it very briefly. So this is the timeline. You can take this blue bar and then you can like take it from here. I'll drag it to like the six second mark. This is in seconds. You'll see numbers are in the um, top. Then take whatever limb you want to use and then move it. First, I think what I'm going to do. So we're actually making this guy punch and I guess I'll just... I'm not the best at animations, but you can like take the limb and you can rotate it. So now it'll be like, it'll be like that. And I'm gonna make this, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy on this animation. I'm just gonna make it super simple for you guys just to illustrate what's going on. So this is gonna be my punch animation, for example. And I'm gonna, we're gonna um, bring everything back at the 12 second mark. So I'm gonna take this and move it down. Now, got my punch. There's my punch. So right right-handed okay it's more like a neck strike but <laughs> well, okay it's a strike so now what we have to do is we have to right click these three dots and click on published roblox then let's just call it punch submit it and this is the animation id right here this is the id of your animation you don't want to forget it this button right here will allow you to copy it and then what you would, what i would do is go to notepad open up a notepad and just paste it in now you've got your animation ID right here. You can close out of this. You don't even need this anymore. So you can just right click it and delete it. You don't need this thing anymore and you can also X out of that. So now we are in the scripting stage. And you're gonna go to starter pack, right click, insert objects, local script. Now get rid of everything in there. So we're gonna be making the player play an animation whenever they press E on their keyboard. So let's start with getting the player. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. So now we're getting the local player, which is the player that's currently playing the game, and we're gonna store it into a variable called player. Local mouse equals player get mouse. Actually, no. I'll show you chatted too, but first we're gonna do the key down. So now we've got the mouse object. We're gonna do mouse dot key down connect function key. If key is equal to equal to e, then so now. This part right here, this will run whenever someone presses a key on their keyboard, but we don't want the punch to happen whenever they press any key on the keyboard. We want it to happen only if they press E. So that's why we have this if statement right here. So if the key they pressed is equal to E, then now here's the code that will actually make the animation happen. So for that, what you want to do is you want to say local animation equals instance dot new animation animation dot animation ID equals. Okay, so now you want to take your ID that you copied and you want to say, I think this is going to need quotations. You're going to say Roblox asset ID and put the ID. So this is the prefix that you want to use because this tells Roblox that this, this number is not just a bunch of numbers. This is actually an ID to a Roblox asset. So that's what this prefix is. So now that you have the animation, we need to actually load the animation into the player. To do that, we need to say local anim equals player.character.humanoid load animation animation then we're going to say anim play and basically what we did here is we created a new animation object we set the animation id to the id that we created and then you basically what we did was we we loaded the animation into the player's humanoid so this is like loading the animation this is to create the animation this is to load the animation, and this is to play the animation. Now, play your game. Then you can press E. So here we go, press E. There you go. 
<laughs> and there you go. That's my animation. So it, you might be wondering why I didn't play out fully. It's because there's a bunch of other animations that are playing at the same time, and animations have priority. So if you want your animation to, like, exceed all the other animations that are playing, right now my punch animation is... It's only playing halfway because the idle animation is overriding it. But if you want your punch animation to override all other animations playing, you want to do anim.priority equals enum.animation priority. Then you'll see a bunch of animation priorities here. And I'm just going to make it right here. Action. This is the priority for the character actions that must override idle. So this will override it. And this will actually allow the whole punch thing to play all the way through. Boom. See? Whenever you press E, it will now punch. Okay, so that's how you can make the punch play if you press E. But now, how do you make it work if they say a message? Well, for that, we're going to need a server script. So, insert a script into server script service. And now what we want to do is you want to take your player. Actually, no. You want to do game.players.player added connect function player. It. And then you can say player.chat it connect function message. So now you can print the message and now whatever um, whatever they send in the chat box will get printed. So if you say A, B, you can see it gets printed right here. So now what we have to do is we have to check if the message is actually equal to punch. So we're going to say if message equals punch, then, and then we want to run the animation. So you want to take the animation from before, put it there, and then on. Um, you also want to make sure the character actually exists because this will only run after a player is added, not if the character is added. So you want to say, say with paint wait until a player and player not character. Now that way it will make sure that the character is also there before it tries to play the animation. Now if you say punch, it should, but you punch, so punch. Nice. So now if you press E, it will punch. If you Type punch and it will punch. Okay, awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.